Hi boys and girls! I thought this week since we're studying the ocean, we could read this book about ocean babies. Oh, and look, there's already a sea otter and a baby. Do you see them? They're cute. Ocean babies. Big as a bus. And do you see how big this whale is? And then there's a baby whale. And smaller than seeds, billions of babies are born to the ocean. One by one and in huge bunches. So some animals have just one baby and some other animals have lots of babies at once. So look, there's a lot of crabs. They wriggle and spurt from their mother's body or their father's. And that's the interesting thing about seahorses is that the daddies actually have the babies. And that makes them a little different than most other animals. Some are born live, just like you were. Even more hatch from eggs. So this fish right here is laying eggs and then the babies will hatch from eggs. Ocean babies can look exactly like their parents. See, this baby is just a small version of this whale. Or completely different. So look, this, they both have stripes, but they're different colors. As soon as they're born, some already know how to swim. Others need to learn. So this walrus right here, the baby already knew how to swim when it was born, but the otter actually needs um, its mom to teach it how to swim. And that's kind of like you. When you were little, you actually needed help from your mom or your dad, and then you learn things along the way. Alone or together, ocean babies travel far to find food. or wait for food to find them. And these look like eels to me, and then they just kind of pop their head out and wait for the food to come to them. Some change homes like you change clothes. So these hermit crabs, as they grow bigger, they need bigger shells, so they have to go find them. Others spend their whole lives in one familiar place. And these are those clownfish again, and they live in the sea anemones. No matter where they live, what color, shape, or size, one day ocean babies grow up, just like you will. Then, big as a bus and smaller than seeds, billions of new babies are born to the ocean and life begins again. I hope you liked reading about ocean babies with me. 